think it's my gums that I'm clutching my heart. Why am I saying that? I might be being a little bit playful, and I'm sorry, a bit of dark humor, but poor gum health can actually give you a heart attack. I'm going to explain why and how that happens and how you stop it today. I'm Dr. Rachel Hall. I'm a holistic dentist. And yes, there is a connection between gum disease and heart disease, which in turn leads to heart attacks. It's called the oral systemic link. It's also um, responsible for things like kidney disease, strokes, diabetes, Alzheimer's and cancers. But I'm going to focus on heart attacks today. Can gum disease give you a heart attack? Well, sometimes I think the bill for treating it might. But joking aside, can gum disease cause you to have a heart attack? There is this connection between your dental health and your overall health. It's called the oral systemic link, and that recognizes that for you to be healthy, you need to have a healthy, disease-free mouth. That's because infections, inflammation, bacteria, and toxins from your mouth don't stay in the mouth, but they travel and spread to the rest of your body. This is linked to adding to health problems, making them worse, or being a predisposing or causative factor. So can gum disease give you a heart attack? Well, the answer would be yes. But why is that? How can bleeding gums and dental infections damage your cardiovascular system and your heart health? Gum disease increases your risk of having a heart attack. It contributes to heart disease. And this is because the plaque bacteria in your mouth and the inflammatory byproducts of gum disease use the blood vessels in your mouth like a little freeway, like a network of roads where they travel around your body and they stop in areas like your heart trees and your heart and your brain where they build up and they cause damage. Now the plaque that builds up in your arteries that leads to heart disease is almost identical to the plaque that builds up on your teeth. And bacteria from your mouth have been found in those plaques in the arteries. So unhealthy gums not only increase your risk of having a heart attack, but heart disease is, um, sorry, gum disease is related to a lot of other conditions such as diabetes, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, cancers, and more. So why is this? What's happening? Well, your gums are directly related to your overall body's health via this oral systemic link. Your mouth is the gateway to your entire body. And if there's bad plaque bacteria stuck on your teeth, sitting on top of your gums, that bacteria will travel all the way from your blood vessels in your gums all the way throughout your body. It's all connected. The plaque builds up because your diet is too high in sugar, processed and refined foods and carbohydrates, and because you don't spend enough time or sometimes any time brushing and flossing or cleaning in between your teeth properly and that allows the plaque to harden into tartar and then that allows more bacteria to breed and develop and that also then causes inflammation and inflammation causes the release of toxins and byproducts into our bodies such as C-reactive protein that can trigger this cascade of ill health and if you don't visit your dentist regularly enough for professional cleans, plaque and tartar can't be and aren't getting cleaned off. This causes your gums to bleed, infection and inflammation to damage the bone around your teeth. And then when your gums bleed, the bacteria go directly in your bloodstream and they whiz off all over your body. So what started as a dental infection of your gums is now a whole body or systemic problem. Studies have proven and they show that bad bacteria from the mouth is directly related to these conditions that I've mentioned before, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, and so on. This oral systemic link isn't a new theory. It's something that physicians have known about for centuries. The problem is that medicine and dentistry, they kind of became two distinct professions. And the message about total health, including the mouth, got buried under the modalities of modern dentistry and medicine. It certainly wasn't part of my dental training. It's something I have educated myself on as a holistic dentist. Now, dentists are getting trained more in this, but not enough to get the message across. This link between the health of your mouth and all the serious health conditions makes taking care of your mouth even more important than ever before. Yep, that brushing and flossing that we keep ramming home 
It's not just about keeping your teeth. It's not just about saving your teeth, but it's about keeping your health and saving yourself from a shortened lifespan or a poor quality of life. I know that people don't take their oral hygiene care seriously. We all think we aren't going to be the one who gets a cavity or serious gum problems and that somehow if we're not in pain, everything must be okay, right? Well, no, because just like a heart attack, you don't know you're going to get one until it's too late and you're gripping your chest and fighting for your life. Or if you are lucky, it gets picked up on a medical exam. So the next time you don't feel like brushing or flossing or doing it properly, don't simply focus on it being about clean teeth and fresh breath and keeping your gums healthy, but about you being healthy. It's important to remove plaque bacteria to have a healthy mouth. And now you have another reason to do so because a clean mouth helps prevent serious health conditions. But that's not all. You may have healthy gums. But what if you've got a tooth infection, an abscess, or a tooth that has massive decay and a big hole in it? Well, that hole is going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and you are going to end up with an infection. A dental infection that can actually easily spread to your brain. No, I'm not making this up. Think about it. Your teeth are here, your brain's there, they're only a few centimetres apart, and the bacteria can quickly travel to the brain along the blood vessels, causing a serious, life-threatening, and sometimes life-ending brain infection that can lead to death. So, if you have a swelling or a lump on your gum, that can be an abscess, and it is a risk for a serious medical emergency, let alone that let alone the fact that it's causing you to have low-grade sepsis constantly, day by day. It's giving you blood poisoning, and your immune system is having to work damn hard to keep that infection at bay and under control. The thing is, with the oral systemic link, those bacteria get everywhere, even into your brain, as I've mentioned. So it's crucial to keep your teeth and gums clean. Stop gum disease, and yes, you need to brush and floss, but you also need to eat in the right way to prevent gum disease and tooth decay, and I will link to some videos on that for you. You need to get your teeth fixed. If they've got decay, a cavity, or an abscess, you've just got to get them dealt with. Get professional cleanings and dental checkups. Don't wait until everything is a mess and infected and, and everything's just gone bad ways in your mouth because by then the damage to your heart and your other organs has taken place. If you have a tooth that ends up getting infected due to untreated decay and you've been putting off getting that filling and treatment, it needs to get done. A small cavity can soon become a big one and cause you big health problems. When that cavity grows big enough to infect your tooth, that infection and the bacteria travel through your body. The harm has already been done. So if you need a filling, I'm going to encourage you to book in and get it done before it has serious impact on your health. Now, I will say this to be clear. If you get a tooth infection, it does not mean it's going to travel to your brain straight away. But left too long, this does become a risk. So if your tooth gets infected, it's better to have the root canal or the extraction than it is to leave it to fester. I'm going to link to a video that I've done on root canal so you can see how that works um, to save your tooth and why I think you should try to save it. But the point I'm making is this. If you leave an infected tooth and you don't have it treated, and remove the infection and over time that infection grows and it spreads and it travels in your blood vessels just like the bacteria from gum disease do. The tooth decay bacteria can also spread locally causing infections in your cheek and your face. Um, it happens and it rarely does but it does happen and it can go to your brain. So the key message here is that your mouth is not a separate thing to your body. Your mouth and your body are connected, and that makes dental hygiene and dental visits and checks even more important. And our role as dental professionals are key as part of your total health care. Now, if you haven't been the dentist for a while, I'm not saying that means you're going to die. What I'm saying is that if your mouth isn't healthy, you're putting your health at risk. So please go see the dentist before it's too late.
Now, I know this all too well because my dad, he had a terrible fear of the dentist and he would only go when he was in pain. I didn't know it then because I was only a undergrad and I'd only just started my dental degree. But looking back, he actually had severe gum disease and he ended up dying aged 44 from a fatal heart attack. And I think that could have been prevented had he been better taken care of his teeth and gums. Now, I'm not trying to tell you this story to upset you or scare you, but to explain why dental health and this oral systemic link and total health dentistry is a passion of mine. And I hope it's something that can be of interest to you and it's something that can motivate you enough to make some changes to your oral care and your lifestyle. I hope it's a message that we can get across that the dental profession starts to pick up and run with and it's only going to come from people like you who've took the time to watch this video to start asking questions to demand better from our profession so that the message of all systemic link gets out there and if you've watched this far then it's got to be of some sort of interest of you so if you want to stop gum disease from killing you watch this video to discover what additional things you can do to look after your oral health systemic link